get the door, get the door, get the door. Am I the a-hole for suggesting my friend's girlfriend is not physically fit enough for a trail hike? I enjoy going on runs or hikes on the trails around where I live. There's a variety of trails with varying degrees of mileage and incline. I go to these to walk or run in line with my training program or just for fun. I have a friend who I've known and been close with since middle school. Recently, he has asked to come along on these for some exercise. I was fine with this until he asked if his girlfriend could come along. I didn't know her well but I accepted and it was a fine time. But then she began coming to all of the trail walks. I usually wouldn't care, but she ends up complaining a lot, and needing breaks. I would be okay with this except it would be less than a mile in, and she would continue to stop our group intermittently even when we tried to keep a specific pace. When I would try to keep going she made comments about me being inconsiderate. Often the walks or runs were tilde 3 miles. I explained the problem to my friend, that if we wanted to keep this up, she needed to be prepared or not come at all. In all honesty I don't know if she was inviting herself or if my friend was inviting her, but regardless I made my intentions clear. He said he would talk, but that was two weeks ago. Yesterday, I was planning on going on a long hike, about six miles with a lot of hills and a couple cliff-like areas. I made it clear I was looking for a specific place when I asked my friend if he wanted to come, and he accepted, even mentioning that his GF was busy. I thought all was fine. When we met at the parking lot, I saw that his girlfriend ended up coming anyway. I was not in the mood to be stopping but I assumed she would be doing a much easier a shorter trail. When I asked her, said she was doing hours. I will admit I was a bit curt or fed up when I spoke, but I straight up asked her if she would be able to do it or if she would need a break every five minutes like previous times. She got immediately offended and asked me if I was serious. I simply recalled each time we had a walk in the same group and reaffirmed that I was serious. When my friend looked at me, I asked him if he really thought she could make the full trail when she struggled with a low incline 2.5 mile walk last time. She called me an asshole and went and sat in their car, waiting for my friend I assume. I just started the trail and my friend followed. He didn't say anything about it, except a, sorry about that, and he turned off his phone. Am I wrong for questioning her, or should I have let her come, but deal with the consequences? I admit I struggle with being a little too honest at times, but I feel that this time could be reasonable, but I'm not sure. Dang. Okay, you have disappeared down there. <laughs> <laughs> I, was really just I have an answer. No, you adjust up? yourself. Everyone sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Including you. <laughs> I'll kidding. start with OP. Yeah, Simple. If he hadn't spoken to the girlfriend and maybe the friend didn't speak to her, yeah. the first way that you approach it to her is this way. That's rude. That's not appropriate. You should have approached it better. The okay. friend is an asshole because it looks like he can't tell his girlfriend. Yeah. Straight up. I think he didn't tell what his friend said i don't think so there yet and the girlfriend is an asshole just because she keeps complaining that's one of my biggest pet peeves if you don't enjoy yeah. it keep it to yourself or you know go. for next time not to come get away from me don't ruin it for the rest of us i just hate complain i hate hearing complain after complain after complain you're ruining it for me yeah like I, i'm having a great time why the fuck you gotta bring your mood over to me? Like, yes. Get the heck out of here. So everyone sucks. Don't do gotta say. <laughs> <laughs> do you gotta say that like, I definitely can agree. Like, um, it, it it's pretty dang annoying when um somebody brings someone over, like a friend or something, um uh, that just is not fit enough. Um, when doing fit needed activities, like I've had situations where I go on hikes with friends. Then they bring someone, and I'm like, it's gonna, they just ruined my whole hike because I know my fit level, I know your fit level, and I know she's definitely, or he is definitely not gonna be able to do what we wanna do. Mm. And that sucks because I'm do like, you run in hikes? Yeah, I love running in hikes. It's and the best. And this is why every time you go on a hike, yeah. I say, have a nice time. <laughs> and and i i am happy you know i'm grateful that you know you know you know that you know, you know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, i would no you're honestly you're pretty fit though like i'm gonna front like there's been times where um we run like because we're late somewhere mm -hmm. um uh, and you impress me because you don't run like that's your thing you you were you do not run yeah you're like i rather like die here than run you know <laughs> yeah so i'm like okay but there's been times where we're like we're late to the movie theater or whatever, right? Uh, and we had to just park super far away because we always go on opening nights. 
and we're like, we gotta, we gotta yeah. book it. And you run from one end of the parking lot all the no way to the theater. No one's messing with my movie. <laughs> you make and it's not like you're like you're like breathing super hard. You're you're literally good pacing it, you know. So I'm like, that's impressive. But like, because internally, I'm I don't want to sound like I'm really out of fit. So I <laughs> am cool. really out of breath, and I'm just like. <laughs> But the whole movie theater while watching the movie you're like <laughs> no i i would sound like that it's just yeah. that i don't want to look like that yeah yeah so you try to fake it to make it kind mm -hmm. of thing but that's what i'm saying like sometimes um people are just not fit like they really aren't and i've gone to runs that i wanna i really like enjoying running i, mm -hmm. I really like i really enjoy running in the hikes really really do and when someone comes and they can't do the run it just sucks because now I got to stop and wait for them. I think the issue is when the intention of the hike is already preset. So yeah. we have gone on hikes with your family and we know that that hike is going to be a walk. Yeah. And you enjoy those because you knew that walk, that was going to be a walk. Yeah. But when you intended to be yeah. something more and someone else is bringing it down, Dude, I can't understand that. I, gotta, I do got to say, though, as much as I am on side of OP with the way he feels about the situation, mm -hmm. his friend sucks. Yeah. As a friend and as a boyfriend. He literally turned his phone off and he apologized to OP he turned for his bringing phone off? his I girlfriend. That part. Yeah, at the end, it says, like, he, he apologized. Oh, yeah. He said, I'm sorry. And then he's like, I'm turning my phone mm -hmm. off. And he turned his phone off. And left his girlfriend in the car. Hikes are not a five, ten minute thing. He's it's six miles? Six if miles? That's gonna be an hour. Dip. Get the heck dip. out of here. I yeah. would message you saying, let me know when to pick you up. Yeah. But like that's what I'm saying. Like, like he sucks. This friend definitely sucks. The girlfriend, honestly, yeah, it really does suck here. <laughs> but be fit, you know, be more fit. Whatever. Okay. Include yourself into things like this, be more fit. Top coming here is not that equal. From what you described, you, one, had already explained to your friend how you feel about the frequent breaks you are forced to take because she can't keep up. And two, you made it clear it was a tough trail and you wanted to keep a certain pace. Not sure if your friend failed to share the message or she wanted to join regardless. But since from previous experiences, you don't have the option to just continue your hike and leave her behind. You basically did the only thing that made sense. You shut her down before the hike in a very clear and factual way. Physical limitations are a thing. And although I cannot judge your tone in the moment, nor know the exact things you told her, what you describe in your post certainly doesn't put you in an a-hole territory. I think it does. I think he could have approached it in a better way. He could have definitely approached it in a worse way, though. Because even he definitely that doesn't make that that doesn't mean that what he said was okay. But even him himself, he explains that he kind of lost it a little bit because he was already upset. Yeah. So I can only imagine how he said it when an emotion like that yeah. comes. I'm sure he didn't say, "Will you be taking the lighter jog?" You know. Yeah. <laughs> so. I still think that he could have handled it better. I think everyone sucks in general. He could have also just tripped and her in the way of, It's you know? all communication. I think all of it, everyone sucked because of communication. She, her communicating had to be, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> she was complaining, so that was her Yo, bad. Yeah. Hey, the yeah. boyfriend, because he didn't communicate that she she's kind of not welcomed in these hikes if she can't keep up. Yeah. And OP is the least of the assholes, but still. I don't know, man. I, I, I feel like there were there would be funnier ways, too. Like, he could have just complained about her the whole time. Like, every time she slowed down, he could have been like, Oh, Jessica, fudging, keep up. I'm you know? not on that The whole boat. time. I, I feel like that would have made it at least, like, um, well, that would have made it to her brain that she definitely needs to get more fit. You or think? just not come. Yeah. With that subtle, and then very like, subtle suggestion. Maybe bring like something with you, like a, a, a you know, water bottle or something. So that way she does it enough time. So you just take the water bottle that you don't want. You just throw it like to the to the hike and just be like, Jessica, for fudge sakes. Like You lost me. Oh. Littering. Okay, you maybe not. Maybe line. not. Maybe throw it at her then. Throw it at her and be like, gosh, supposed to do this right. <laughs> Uh, but next story here. Just <laughs> no, don't even say anything. Just every time, make sure it's um, a plastic water bottle, not yeah. like a reusable one, and just kind of half empty. Just mm -hmm. squish it so that crap comes <laughs> out. Yeah. 
yeah, every time. <laughs> and then just under your breath. All right, Oscar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's only two more miles. Yes. Oh, oh. Yeah. That's exactly Gosh. it. Anybody who's new, who's looking at this video for the first time, subscribe, bro. Join us in this crazy neighborhood of ours and, uh, you know, just have some fun, silly times with us. Hear some Reddit stories and let's see where the heck this goes. We'll see you in the next one. Laters.